welcome LEGO fans to the LEGO The Hobbits and Unexpected Journey set. And today we have for you the very small set Riddles for the Rings, so this should be a fairly short review. And of course today we have with us our two favorite guest stars, Fader the Second and Andrew 19, Andrew 30. Hello! And once again, this will be a fairly short review, but um, I wanted to get it on here because, well, it's a Hobbit set. And we are at a guest location, so that is why you do not see the blue ball. Instead, you see Andrew's fruit punch cup and some blinds and a counter. But um, first of all, Andrew is going to give us the specifics for the set. Okay, so. This set is item number 79.79000. It has 105 pieces. It retails for $9.99. And the recommendations are 8 to 14, but who cares? No one cares. No one. No one. So, any preliminary thoughts? It's a good set. Yeah. Um, wait, wait, I, I just found the exact price per piece. Oh. It is actually, I just canceled it up, but I believe it, it was actually nine and a half cents. Wow, that's really good. Anytime we see under ten cents per brick, that's really good. So, any other preliminary thoughts? I don't. Okay. Yeah, not, mu not much for this. So, uh, one of us will take the minifigures, another one will take the boat, and another will take the rock, but of course we'll all be chiming oh, in course. as usual. You want the boat? Can I take Mr. Baggins? Okay. And I'll take the I'd rock. Take this is all you get. I'd rather take okay. Bilbo than I'm gonna Mr. steal Bilbo. everything. I'm gonna steal the boat. He's gonna steal Bilbo. You get to keep that. <laughs> I like you. I like Bilbo <laughs> better than Gollum anyway. Oh. Okay, so here is Bilbo. I should um, put him to his normal. This actually is the um, the figure for the Bilbo um, Baggins keychain, which I yes. have and I bring everywhere. So here is his sword. Um, it's is that um, a, an exclusive sting piece? No, or? no, no. Okay. Wait, can I just see oh. that real quick? And show it a little better. They're not detailed enough to put the engravings that you see on the in the Lord of the Rings. On the I mean, is that just no, is that um, size or mold? Oh no. No, um, okay. no it comes in a few of the sets. Okay, so here is Mr. Baggins. Here is his um hair. And I believe, is this on um, Frodo's hair, but in a different color? Yes. This is all the hobbits. Right? Yeah, all the hobbits have the same hair. I believe okay. that might be the same color as Sam's, but I'm not sure. Okay, so here is uh, actually, I don't think Mr. So. Baggins' face, and he has a double-sided face. That's when he first sees Gollum, most likely. Yep. <laughs> okay, so here is his body. Pretty cool body. Kind of makes up for the very boring back printing. Oh. <laughs> okay, and then the very boring um, dwarf slash hobbit legs. And he also comes in barrel escape in that costume. So, uh, Fan will now show you Gollum and his boat. <coughs> Excuse me. First, Gollum's fish. That is his weapon of choice. <laughs> and also his favorite food. Yes. In fact, it's the second thing that he thinks about the most. Number two on the list of things Gollum uh, thinks about is fish. Number one? I think we all know. Well, my friend. We'll let Bilbo tell you about that. Now, you actually get a different face on Gollum than you do in uh, She Loves Attack. You know what, I think I might have the other Gollum. Let me, let me, uh, maybe not. Oh, I do. Oh, good. I haven't I seen it, so I want to see this. Thank you. So here, Gollum looks a little bit more evil. And here, he looks a bit more innocent, which I think should be uh, switched. I think that it should be a little bit more like this. None of them will look... Good. None of them look very good. We really good. need a golem with a more Smeagol-ish look. Uh, yeah. yeah. We'll get that eventually. Mm -hmm. and then, oh, we get him um, uh, like a Smeagol. <laughs> yeah, that'd be great. The, the best part about this uh, character is just the molded part. Go ahead and take the arms off so you can see the actual mold. So there's the mold by itself. It has a little stud on yeah. there. Stud on there. Yeah. That's so that's a very nice, stuff. unique mold. Yes. We probably will never see that in anything else. Mm -hmm. And well, those arms are very similar to Battle Droid arms, but not exact. 
Not at all. In fact, they're smooth. Yeah. Um, there is no sort of corrugation or anything on there, so that's different. And then here is his boat, which is actually oversized for him. Really? Uh, it should be a little bit smaller, so that way he can be right here and with his arms out the sides yeah. to be paddling. But Lego did an, did a very very nice job. You have some bones here from the and stuff that he's eaten that he put on there. I did test it out. It does not float. Why did you test it out? It obviously doesn't float. I just saw a test of them. Okay. I had nothing better to do that day. Okay. <laughs> okay. You're not in high school yet? That was before. Oh. Summer vacation. <laughs> and so here Gollum is riding the boat. And Gollum's fish is going to And now, off to Blue Boat. No comment. <laughs> Now this is what I consider a burp, a big ugly rock piece. Just what I was about to say, I was going to say, what do you mean no comment, don't you mean burp? <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> 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 Excuse so here we have our rock piece, it's very exciting, it's probably the best structure in any set that we have ever seen. And it is just so entirely fascinating that it deserves a trophy. And it's more fascinating than Tower of Ortha. Yes, definitely. Oh, I never noticed that. Yeah, you can do that. Okay. I was going to point that out. I did not notice that. So uh, that's coming later, people. Yes. And so you can kind of see it's a boring rock piece. The only exciting thing it does is you can pull these pieces out and reveal the one ring. And can I have Bilbo, please? Bilbo, I think you... Well, I think it all sets you get three rings, so you could get one of Bilbo and put one here. Three? Yeah. I've gotten two and mine. Really? Three. I haven't gotten three. I got three in all, all the sets three I got with three. Three million rings to rule them all. Yes. And exactly. if you really want to get adventurous, you could go like this and try to smash the rocks, but of course that doesn't work. And the way you do that, hang on, is you spin this right here and lose that out. And as Feanor was showing you earlier, you can put Gollum up there. If you could demonstrate that, please. Shouldn't this be a building cut though? No, because it shows it on the box, I believe. So he can kind of sit up there and Bilbo's down below and then... Wait, and Bilbo's down below, like... This kind of, <clears throat> kind of scared. And then <clears throat> you can't see him. Excuse me. And he kind of like jumps Bilbo and attacks him. So that's it for riddles for the ring. Um, nothing much sad for building tips except that you could elaborate on the cave design if you really wanted to. But if I were you, there's many more, more interesting things to elaborate upon in the. Lego world. So, um, uh, Andrew, do you want to rate the build? Um, what, sure. What? I did build this. Um, I have this. Um, <clears throat> for the build, maybe an eight or so. What did you think? Uh, uh, if you want it smaller, I go. I, I would definitely go lower. But yeah, I. I mean, it's nice. That's why I like stars because we get different opinions. Yeah, well, I just um, it's an okay for a build. I mean, it's sort of you can put it together in five minutes, so it's not that. Yeah. It's, but for nine ninety nine, I just it's one of the least expensive Lego sets. True. I mean, and then you do get the nice Gollum mold. So. And if you want Gollum and Bilbo for a very low yes. price. Yes. Yeah, that's another good thing to point out. Because he also comes in Barrel Escape, but and that's $40. Not gathering? Not in that costume. <clears throat> yeah, okay. So I'll go ahead and rate play. Uh, once again, this is going to be very low. Um, at least you do get one function. Gandalf Rise, you do not get any functions except that you can move the cart. But that was a better set. So for playability, I guess I'll go with a six. Because, I mean, you can do this. That's gonna get old real fast. Uh -huh. And especially since the boat's not float. I would have given it higher if the boat did float. But you can't have everything. Yeah, but you could um 
Do you know what that goes into the into display? Do you want me to go ahead and do mine? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna grade the display as always, and um. Well, not always, because he's not always on here. Uh -huh. well, whenever I am, I always read the display. So, uh, display-wise by itself, I'm going to give it a three, because you can put it in interesting positions and everything, but it's not amazing. And, um, uh, let me see. You know, you can have Gollum up here. But if you were to elaborate on it and possibly add some water around it so that way you could mm -hmm. make the boat float with quotation marks around float because it's not actually True. floating, that would be a very good idea. So um, that if you did that, I would probably give it more of a, a five. But by itself, it's a three. Well, um, one thing I want to point out is that on the box, it actually says ship does not float under building toy. Oh, it does? I didn't yeah, see that. Well, just like Parks and Ambush. It Wait, did it say ship does not float? Yeah, it says... Sh oh, well, oh it's Gollum's ship. <laughs> the ship is sails, Gollum. Alright, so this is Rules for the Ring. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you check out some more exciting reviews. This is my one See you next time. Thanks for tuning in. Random Shelog. Give me the Martins. Hot stare. <laughs>